Hey, it's Madeleine Larson here with a news briefing. Some welcome news for cricket fans. Ricky Ponting has been given the all clear to make his commentary return today after having to be rushed to hospital. The former skipper was suffering from dizzy spells during yesterday's coverage of the first test against the West Indies. Flood concerns are not over yet for the country's southeast. The PM is spending the day in the South Australian town of Renmark, which is bracing for major flooding as River Murray levels continue to rise. Anthony Albanese has met with the SA Premier and locals in the region, which is expecting two peaks, one in the next week and another towards the new year. Weeks and months ago, I visited, of course, the areas of, of New South Wales, Yagara, Parks, Forbes, and areas of Victoria like Bendigo and Rochester. What you're seeing here is the floodwaters going into the Murray from both the north and the south, from both New South Wales and Victoria. Australian-born WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has lodged an appeal against his extradition to the US, where he's wanted on 18 criminal charges. The 51-year-old submission is expected to be heard by the European Court of Human Rights in the new year. And Indonesia's updated criminal code, which would make premarital sex a crime punishable by jail time, is expected to be passed on December 15. And foreigners, including us Aussies, wouldn't be exempt, raising concerns for the impacts on tourists in Bali. What would you do with a dollar? Did you know that for every one dollar donated to Food Bank, two meals are created? Head to Bank. .org.au. They may be clear underdogs, but the Socceroos fully believe they can beat Argentina at the World Cup tomorrow morning and end Lionel Messi's career. Defender Milos Dejanek says they may just be on the cusp of greatness. You know, I'd love for us to get past Argentina and then I could come back here next, say, Sunday, Monday and be like, well, I'm, I guess we are the greatest generation the Socceroos have ever had. Thousands are expected to gather at live sites across the country to watch on while the Sydney Opera House will light up tonight to show support for the And clear across the limestone coast for the rest of today. 13 the low tonight, becoming cloudy. 32 tomorrow, maybe showers 17 on Monday. It's the daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes. Search the briefing podcast on Listener. Download the app now and listen for free.